Hi, and welcome to another five minute tip. In this tip, I'd love to show sort of a hidden feature of the knife tool. Um, it works best in certain modes, like loop mode, that's where I'm going to show it. Uh, but I found it really useful in my modeling, and uh, I'd love to share it with you guys. So, right here, I have a cylinder, kind of cylinder object. Uh, I just tried to make it as weird as possible and uh, as, as irregular, I should say. And the way it works is, let's say you'd like to make a knife cut at two places along this loop of polygons right here. So you might use the knife tool in loop mode like this. But what if you wanted to be sure that they were evenly spaced from the two edges? Well, there's actually a really cool way to look at the offset value right here and see what it says. But you'll notice that it's it's kind of difficult to, you know, hover over and see your offset and then go over here and type something in. So what you can actually do is you can hover over and then you can just tap the shift key. You just press and release shift and you it, it stays locked. Then you can come in here and interactively adjust it. Or in this example, enter 50 for 50 press enter and then come back into the viewport and do a single click. Then you get your cut right there. Now let's say I wanted a cut the same distance away from these two points. Well, I've just split this 50 down the middle. So now what I can do is I can say, okay, let's say I wanted the first cut over here at 25%. I can tap the shift key, enter 25, enter, click. Then I can come over here and tap the shift key and say 25, enter, click. And then I know that these two sort of cuts are proportionally the same distance away from this. They are, let me highlight things. This cut and this cut are each 25% away from their respective places where I made the cuts. So that's a nice little hidden feature of the knife tool you can go to loop mode and it, it works in other modes too, I think. Like I think it works in plain mode where you can just tap shift and it locks there. But I don't think you can actually um, interactively adjust it the same way. Maybe you can, yeah, you can. But the offset is not expressed as a percentage. It seems to be expressed as a relative unit from where you started it. But this is a pretty cool feature and you just tap shift to unlock it. You can tap shift and it locks again. So let me know if you like this tip. And if you did, make sure to subscribe because I do these tips every now and then. And until next time, see ya.